Photosynthesis is the process by which the energy of sunlight is captured and used to convert carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrate. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast and happens in two parts. There are light-dependent reactions which occur in the thylakoid. Light and water are taken in and ATP and NADPH are produced. Oxygen is also given off as waste. The NADPH and ATP are then used in the carbon fixation reactions to take carbon and produce glucose. Light is absorbed by the thylakoid membrane. The chlorophyll absorbs most light energy in the visible spectrum. However, the portion of the light spectrum that appears as green gets reflected or transmitted, which is why photosynthetic organisms appear green. There are two photosystems which use light energy and water to create ATP and NADPH. The first is photosystem 2 and the second is photosystem 1. Here's an analogy for how they both work. The yellow ball is a light particle or photon. The energy from that photon excites the electron in photosystem 2. As a result, the energy level of the electron is increased. As the electron's energy decreases, it is again excited by a photon, and the energy level of the electron is increased once more. This energy is then stored. Now here's how it really works. Once the photon comes through the thylakoid membrane, it moves from chlorophyll to chlorophyll until it reaches the CHL in the middle. This boosts the energy level of the electron given by water to a higher level. The oxygen from water is given off as waste and the H plus or hydrogen ion is kept for later use. The electrons then go through the electron transport system. The energy from the H plus and the electron transport is used for the chemiosmotic synthesis of ATP. The electron from photosystem 2 is again excited by another photon. Photosystem 1 reduces an electron carrier, which is used to reduce NADP plus to NADPH. Also in photosystem 1, the excited CHL gives up electrons to an electron carrier. The carriers of the electron transport system are reduced. Energy from electron flow is captured for chemiosmotic synthesis of ATP. The last reduced electron carrier passes electrons to electron deficient chlorophyll, completing the cycle and allowing the reactions to start again. The energy produced in photosystems 2 and 1 is then used in carbon fixation reactions.